Okay, in this course we are going to look at problems in classical mechanics, in quantum physics and in, uh, in relativity as well. Typical problems in classical mechanics, for instance, uh, are uh, a ball falling uh, under gravity, um, a spring, uh, a pendulum, and a satellite rotating around the Earth, etc. Et so usually when you want to solve such uh, a problem or such a situation, you start with Newton's second law. It states that if you apply a force on an object, it will encounter some acceleration, as you all know. So for instance, if you take the case of a, um, an object falling under gravity, um, the force will be just minus mg. And uh, the acceleration, um, if we denote x the height of the object, um, will be um, the second time derivative of x. So the dot here means derivative. So two dots means second derivative. You can of, of course uh, simplify by m, and what you get is a, a differential equation for the variable of interest. Uh, x and uh, this differential equation is called an equation of motion. For such a simple differential equation you can uh, easily solve for x and what you get is a function of time where v0 and x0 are a constant of integration. Uh, in this case v0 is the initial velocity at t equals zero and x naught is the initial height of the of the object. Uh, I later check that this is indeed solution of um, the equation of motion we just wrote. In most uh, realistic case um, uh, e equation of motion doesn't have a solution which is uh, analytical and simple like that. Uh, you will see uh, examples in labs for instance for the spring pendulum uh, where you can't write uh, an equation, a solution of the equation of motion in analytical form. In this case, you need to use computers um, so you can solve uh, the equation of motion with, for instance, Mathematica. But whether you solve the equation of motion analytically or using Mathematica, um, that's not really part of the physics. As far as physics is concerned, um, it, the most important uh, object is the equation of motion you have derived. This is what encodes all the physical law uh, for the system under consideration. So we are going to spend a large part of this course uh, trying to e express this equation of motion um, instead of trying to solve them.